Hello, battery lovers. Today I've got a very popular Hydrain 18650 lithium-ion cell from Samsung, INR 18650-40Q, or just 40Q. It supports continuous discharge current up to 15 amps and can be discharged down to 2.5 volts. I've tested it at 0 0.6, 5, 10 and 15 amp rates. But before looking at the results of the tests, let's remind you my testing conditions. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building crafts. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5 mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9 mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5 mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell which I've tested has the following marking. INR 186540Q Samsung SDI 146. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Nominal capacity 3000 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.6V. Standard charge current 1.5 amps with 150 milliamp cutoff current. Maximum charge current 4 amps with 100 milliamp cutoff current. Charge and voltage 4.2 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current 15 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 26 milliohms. Maximum weight 48 grams. The measured weight of my cell was 45.6 grams and the measured DC internal resistance at 3 amps in fully charged condition was around 16 milliohms. At 0.2C or 0.6 amps, Samsung INR 186540Q gave out 41.03 milliamp hours or 11.24 watt hours. At 5 amp discharge rate, the result was 29.75 milliamp hours or 10.46 watt hours. At 10 amps, 29.57 milliamp hours or 9.96 watt hours. At 15 amp discharge rate, the result was 29.40 milliamp hours or 9.60 watt hours. At the end of the day, there is no surprise. At 0.2 C discharge, Samsung 40Q's capacity is a bit higher than 4100 milliamp hours, and all the way up to 15 amps, the curves look excellent. That's all about 40Q. Hit the like button if this video was interesting and useful for you. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to be notified about new videos. Bye bye.